Hello, welcome to Sloggy Games. I'm Tagni. And I'm Anthony. And today we are conquering conquest. Ooh. And in this episode, I'm going to be building and painting the lovely Death Guard as per the instructions in issue two of the magazine. Ooh. So, we'll see you at the table. Bye. Bye. All right, so here we are, we're at the table. We've got our Death Guard out of the packaging, our paint, a paint miniature holder, clippers, brush, water, our magazine, ready to follow the instructions. So we're going to first turn to the instructions and start assembling up. So, just so you can see the instructions. And then what we're going to be building them like. So I'm going to start cutting these out, building them up. So it always says to start using the numbers. So we're going to start with number one. Let me find it, which is over here.
Let's move these guys to the side. I think I've got a little palette with paint on, ready to start painting. So, how to paint plague moons. Assemble your collection of Citadel paints, Retributor Armour, Death Guard Green and Buff. So we don't need the McCrabby Blue. Clean your brush with water, which I've already done, but just had to give it another little clean. Now they're designed to be slightly watered down using only a little water. Usually only a little water is needed. Shake your paints before opening. Be sure that you don't get too much paint on your brush. You'll obscure the detail. If the paint is too thick, you can even paint out of your palette. Uh, use a palette to thin out your paints with water. The plastic platinum will came in are ideal. Each paint may take up to 30 minutes to dry fully. Ensure each coat is dry before adding a new color. So I need to paint my whole miniature in Plague Marine Death Guard Green. Apply the paint with even brush strokes and try not to miss any bits of the model. Once you're finished, put the model aside to dry. Then we move to the black. So, put that to the side, put that there. So, I'm going to go with this guy first.
dev card green done. I'll change the water and we'll move on to Amidon Black following the tutorial. All right, so we're back now and we're moving on to Abaddon Black. Once your def card base coat has been completely dried, you want to apply your Abaddon Black paint to some areas of detail on your model. Make sure you keep your brush strokes neat and careful at this stage to avoid getting black where you don't want it. This will be good. So paint the model's gun with a measured amount of slightly watered down Abaddon Black. You notice each Plague Marine has a different gun. Be careful not to miss any bits of them. Next, pick out any power cables and armor joints using your Abaddon Black. It's worth bearing in mind that each of these models has different details to watch out for. Some Plague Marines have sections of rusted chainmail hanging from their armor. Paint that Abaddon Black. This will work as a base coat for a silver paint in a future issue. Repugnus carries a disgusting plague knife. You'll want to paint this Abaddon Black for the time being. Again, in a later issue, we'll show you how to apply silver to the blade. So, we're going to do them in order again. So, this first guy, the guy with the sword. So, according to the tutorial, we want to paint his gun, any bits of chainmail and his sword and any pipes um, eventually we want gold as well on him so it should look a little bit like this by the end so I'll start working on it we'll start getting the black on and then we'll go from there.
that the last of the black is done we'll now move on to the retributor armor gold And hopefully we didn't just paint another figure there or I'll be faced. But we're moving to Retributor Gold. See you soon. Okay, so we are back and we are here to do the Retributor armor. So, while I'm giving this a shake, once your bottom black has dried, add some gold metallic details using Retributor armor paint. These sections will stand out on the tabletop even from quite a distance. It'll really make your models look striking and impressive. <clears throat> so it wants me to paint the rims of the shoulder pads. Plague Marine armor is quite strangely mutated and in some cases the rims don't go all the way round. Make sure you paint all the areas that need it. Apply Retributor armor to the backpack ventilators. Be careful not to apply your paint too thickly or you may clog the trilobe holes set in them. Uh, don't worry if some details are not painted in a fitting colour. You will add more colours in future issues. Where possible, use Retribute Armour to pick out the icons and sigils that detail the Plague Marine's armour. This includes the Trilobe symbol of Nurgle and the Plague Fly album of the Death Guard. And we will look... eventually like this in the gold so we're going to start on the gold so we need to pick out around the rims of the armor the lobes and then get from there so there's no time to start like the present
Okay, and with that, we are now finished. So this is, I think obviously these will need a little, a little touch up in various places. Um, but for the most part, we are finished. So we've got this guy with his gold freshly freshly painted on obviously a bit of gold here which will get cleaned up ready for the combat All in all, I'm fairly happy with how these have turned out. Especially for my first time painting and learning to paint, I feel like I've done well. Um, a couple of minor adjustments and little touch-ups needed in a few places. But I think for the most part, these are done. Oh, I've just realised I've left his little... A little bit there, so let's and now done. The final little bit is balls. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching um, and being so patient just to get through this video with me. Um, I've really enjoyed myself painting these. And while they may not be perfect straight away, they will only improve and get better as the subscription goes on, which is the entire premise of this. So, thank you very much and... Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks now. Bye.